type of bond breaking. In organic chemistry or in organic chemical reaction, there are two types of bond breaking. That is homolytic bond breaking and heterolytic bond breaking. Now, we have an organic reaction that is carbon carbon compound breaking. Carbon carbon bond in the breaking. That is the type of homolytic bond breaking or heterolytic bond breaking. So, first one is a homolytic. Homo means, what is homo? Homo means the same. Lytic means to break. Lytic means to break. Hmm? Our example is an explanation. That is, breaking of ethane molecule. Breaking of ethane molecule. This is ethane. That is, there are two carbon atoms. Hmm? In the ethane molecule, we will break it. Here we can see there are two carbon atoms and both these carbon atoms have same electronegativity. How many common relevant number are non-polar molecule? Correct. Non-polar molecule. Non-polar molecule. When there is no electronegativity difference between two carbon atoms, we are calling it as a non-polar molecule. In a non-polar molecule, we have a break here. And this bond is breaking. And we have a break here. We have energy supply chain. Energy supply chain. Suppose we are giving energy in the form of photon. We are calling it as a photolysis. Suppose we are giving energy in the form of photon. Photon is the energy of H. Photon is the formula that we are supply chain. We are calling it as a photolysis. Suppose we are giving energy in the form of thermal. Uh, heat in the formula number for the number by thermolysis number. That is, we can supply energy either in the form of photon or in the form of heat. We are calling it as a photolysis and a thermolysis respectively. We have a carbon-carbon compound here and we have a supply chain. Bond the break here and bond the bond the break here. We have done a species in the bond. C is free radical. C is free radical. We have done a species in the bond. We have done a knock. This is the C is free. This is C is free. We have done a bond and we have done a bond. ஒரு போண்டன் வருந்தான் நான் 2 electron இயும் 2 electron ஒரு electron இம்மோட்டு சிக்கியும் ஒரு electron இம்மோட்டும் சிக்கியானுக்கு நம்மல் அவையான் பரியா homolytic bond breaking homo means the same that is one atom get one electron அல்லாது இக்கார் ECH3 molecule ECH3 molecule ஒரு போல் ஐது வண்டல் homolytic fishன் வருந்து each atom get one electron in this case that's why we are calling it as a homolytic fission. Also, we are representing this by this arrow. That is, half had a diary. Half had a diary on you see. Suppose, these two electrons are shifted to this carbon. Now, we are going to do this. This is going to be heterolytic fission. This is going to be double had a diary. We are going to say, one electron is shifting on and down. We are going to do this. Homolytic bond breaking in the body. That is what we use in the end. Half head diary. Half head diary. We use in the end. The electron is shifting on the end. Double head diary. Use in. So, the double head diary. Fully head diary. Then. 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 Free radicals are formed. This speech is known in the body. We are calling it as free radicals. And these free radicals are highly reactive in nature also. They are highly reactive in nature. Here, one atom gets one electron. One atom gets one electron. So, what are the salient features of homolytic bond breaking? In the case of homolytic bond breaking, one atom gets one electron. And here, free radicals are forming and these free radicals are highly reactive in nature. Usually, this type of bond breaking we can see in the non-polar molecule. Then we are using usually high temperature of photons in this process.
Then next is a hydraulic bond breaking. If we have a bond breaking, we the energy supply. Suppose we are taking a molecule as CH3. This molecule is a difference. If we carbon and electron negativity, we have a bromine electron negativity. That is, electron negativity of bromine is greater than that of the carbon. Then carbon will appear as a partial positive charge and bromine will appear as a partial negative charge. This bromine will attract electrons towards this one. Then we will get CH3 plus and Br minus. In the pole side exist the molecule in the molecule. Polar molecules in the Polar molecules. Polar molecules. So you can say heteroelectric bond breaking usually observed in polar molecule. The species formed after the heteroelectric bond breaking are cation and anion. A positively charged species cation and a negatively charged species we are calling it as an anion. That is positively charged, positively charged cation and negatively charged anion. And negatively charged anion. We are calling it as an electrophile. This is positively charged species, electron deficient species, and it is electrophile. And Br minus is a nucleophile. Then, in this reaction, one atom gets two electron. Right. One atom gets two electron. This is CH3Br. electronegative <laughs> One atom takes two electrons. Here there is a symmetrical distribution in the homolytic bond breaking, and in the case of heterolytic bond breaking, there is a unsymmetrical distribution of electron. This is the difference between homolytic bond breaking and the heterolytic bond breaking. Next session number five is about the types of reagent are. Electrophiles and nucleophiles are positively charged species. Electrophiles are negatively charged species. Nucleophiles are electrophiles and nucleophiles. That is the next session. That is types of reagents.